Hi everyone. In today's Fountain Pen Friday video, I wanted to show you what I've been using for storage for the past year. So I bought my first one um, from Rickshaw around last February because my husband bought me the Platinum 3776 with a 14 karat gold nib. And it was my first 14 karat gold pen. Um, I want to say it may have even been my first pen that was well over a hundred dollars. So I wanted to make sure I was protecting it properly and Rickshaw was just popping up left and right as far as a great way to protect the pen, um, but also not scratch by rubbing or rolling against other pens in the same pen case. So I really like the way their products are made. Um, to really protect not to get the pen scratched in any way whatsoever. So I started out with the Koozie. So the Koozie can fit several different configurations. The one that I really love is that you can stack a sleeve of three pens with one of two pens and then you can stack another three on top of that. So that's five, six, seven, eight. That would be eight pens. Plus you can have additional singles in there like what I have right here. Um, these are the single long sleeves, which means they are six inches each. And those fit in here as well. So I wanna say I could easily fit 12 pens. Um, into this case without feeling like anything was being too squished. They also have these pen sleeves in different lengths. So typically I buy the long version because I know it'll fit anything. And there's different ways you can order. So let me start with the koozie first. So this one here, you can have custom made. So they have on their website, a section where you can just pick out the koozie. You can ask what color tag, you can ask what pull ties you want, and you can select the interior cover as well. So this one does not have any pockets or anything because the ideal idea behind this is to fit as many pens in pen sleeves as possible that will fit in here. Some will also usually slide one right here in the very front. Um, so my idea with this initially was I saw that they could fit a roll in one of these. Well, I ordered the wrong kind of roll, but I ended up loving this one so much that I kept it. So ideally the roll that goes in here is called the Koozie Roll, C-O-O-Z-Y, and it's not as bulky and not as big as this, but it can fit any configuration. They have six, eight, 12, I wanna say it goes up to 16 that can fit in a roll. And then you can roll it up and I've seen them do like the roll of six, put it in here and then they stuff in a whole bunch of the individual sleeves next to it. So that's a really cute setup. And that's what I was originally going for, but um, since I messed that up, I went for a different route instead. So you can get everything matchy matchy if you like that. So for example, this one right here, actually both of these. This here is the brand new Monet line of the water lilies. You can get the koozie, you can get the two, one that looks like this with the two pens. You can get the two pen, the single sleeve, and the sleeve for three that all match with this pattern. They also have a set by Van Gogh um, of various different ones like the sunflowers. So you can do that if you want everything to match. What I kind of like is, you know, there's different patterns they release throughout the year. So I've just picked one up like every other month in a pattern that I've liked. So this is the most recent one. Why I also liked this one is it's shorter. So they have extra small, small, medium, long, and extra long. So I want to say the shortest fits the the extra short fits Cavecos. This one is the short. The reason why I chose this is my Caveco is in there, but as you can see, it still has a lot of room, you know, kind of like how moms feel for 
their kids' toes on a shoe. I kind of do that with my pens. So the Pilot Prera comes all the way down here to the bottom, but my Caveco is kind of up here, and then you can see where the top of the pen is. So the short is really great for a variety of pocket pens, whereas the extra short is really made for like Caveco um, sports or even the lily put would fit great in their extra extra small. I usually get long because it seems to be pretty versatile. So this is six inches and this is a pretty large pen. This is the collab between Galen Leather and Narwhal. And um, this is a six inch pen sleeve. And as you can see, it even covers the top. So the finial is nice and protected as well with the nice plush. So I'm just kind of stacking these for now. And then maybe later on, I'll get another one that fits two. Uh, I'm sorry, that gets three. So I'm gonna do a three, a two, and a three. Then I loved this Asanoha. So they have some Japanese patterns. This is a really popular pattern in Japan, especially when babies are born. This is a traditional artist called Hokusai, and it has the really cute little Mount Fuji along with the great wave design. So I really loved this in a single pen sleeve. My original one though <laughs> was this one right here. And this is my most beloved pen from my husband last year. It's a Pilot 3776 with Urushi lacquer, 14 karat gold nib. Absolutely love this pen. And so this message is very appropriate. Of all my pens, they can borrow anything, but not this one in particular. So let me show you this. This ended up being so beautiful, I decided to keep it, even though I ordered the wrong side size. This one is called the Deluxe. So the difference with the Deluxe is it has this, it's bigger for one, it's taller, and it has this flap on the inside. So if you were to just get the koozie roll, it's like, you know, imagine this not having this top at all, and just this part of the roll. So it adds this extra layer of protection here on the ends and it adds the flap. So it's very beneficial to have. I just take this with me to my Bible meetings and I leave this just open on my lap. And that way I can use a variety of thicknesses of pens as well. So what's really clever about this design is this is a, a traditional wave design that you see in a lot of Japanese artwork, but they've kind of hidden like an ink bottle and fountain pen and another ink bottle up here and the same thing in this pattern down here. Then on the back is this beautiful image of Mount Fuji with a fountain pen across the top with cherry blossoms and the sun in the background. So this is really beautiful. I love it even more in person. So I decided to keep it and I actually use this more than my koozie case. I thought I would take the koozie case with me, but that actually just ends up being storage at home for my clean fountain pens. And any of my current fountain pens that are in use are in this roll here. So right now to show you some differences in sizes of what fits in this deluxe, this is my biggest pen and heaviest probably. This is the Twisby 700R VAC and it's pretty heavy and it's pretty tall. So you'll see it sticks out here and the bottom is all the way down at the bottom of the sleeve. Same for this one. This is the Twisby uh, 580 in rose gold number two. And again, this one also goes all the way to the bottom. Now a couple of shorter ones, I can fit my thumb here. This is the Twisby mini and in the rose gold as well as the Diamond Mini is in here as well. So those I just kind of put right there and I can always squeeze them up to go up the sleeve with my thumb. The Cavecos I just clip on because those are the shortest. You'll see they start right here. So they're pretty short, um, but the clip holds them in just fine. It's not too thick at all for that clip to hold those in place. So this is the All Sport in a rose gold and then I want to say this one was called Iguana, maybe? Um, but absolutely beautiful. And so my most valuable pen 
I had been putting over here to get the most protection. Um, and then I roll it up and it goes on tight. So if you're wondering how this works, it has this little clip on this end. It's adjustable. You can move it up or down. And then the loop comes around and you can loop it over that plastic piece. And that's how it cinches it in place. So I love this. It goes in my purse and all my pens are protected. I don't worry about them at all. Now, another thing they do when you order directly from Rickshaw is of course you get like their little postcard with their logo, but they also send you some really cute um, vinyl stickers. So log out, ink up right on, got ink, and a couple of other little cute things here, especially the Sakura release. And then of course, Rickshaw and their logo. And this is a really cute glassine bag that it comes with. So I'm saving that to put in my ink journal. I'm gonna show you the variety of sizes here. This is the short. They do have another one called extra short, which ideally fits the Cavecos. But I use this to fit both my Cavecos and my Pilot Preras since they're both pocket pens. So I opted to get the, the short or the small. Um, the medium is, I want to say, either 5.75 or 5.5 inches. This one has the Platinum 3776 in it, and it is very well protected. You can see it comes right up to the line of where the plush is. And then these are the long, so these are 6 inches, and those fit perfectly inside the koozie. So all of these will fit in a koozie case. So you can buy these sleeves um, depending upon the range of specific pens that you have in your collection. So I do think I may be adding an extra short to my, to my list here pretty soon uh, since I really do love pocket pens. So to order Rickshaw products, you can order from various websites. I've ordered this one directly from them so I could have it custom made how I wanted it. They will custom make these for you as well, including if you want your own artwork on them. You can get quotes for having your own designs put on their sleeves as well. Um, this I got from Goulet Pens. So there's certain designs that they'll release that will be exclusive to certain vendors. And so you can find what's on their collaboration that they've done together. And then this one they sold on their website, but they also sold it on Jet Pens. That's where I found it. Jet Pens had this one. I want to say they also had this one. And then the others I've gotten directly from Rickshaw's website. So again, feel free to check them out. They have different artists, like this one is from Monet. They have Van Gogh. Um, they have Hokusai. And then they have artists that are making modern artwork as well. So all the different colors of the rickshaw variety bags reminded me of our trip to New York. This is the Edge. It's in Hudson Yards. It's a new area near uh, Chelsea Market. From there you have these amazing 360 degree views with just glass, nothing obstructing your view. This is the New Yorker Hotel where we had stayed and they had a cool restaurant underground where it used to be a bank and they have tables set up in the old bank vault. Well, if you enjoy rickshaw and fountain pens as much as I do, check out my Fountain Pen Friday playlist linked below. Give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you on the next one.